Did y'all get that? Hi everyone, my name is Justin Johnson and I will be changing from your everyday dance teacher into this, the dancing queen herself. Always and forever, Alyssa Edwards. Before I start the artistry of this transformation, the most important part is to prep and prime your face. This is my good silk Hollywood theater Joan Crawford robe. And I'm gonna start with prepping this face, getting this skin nice and smooth. Every painter needs a fresh canvas. <laughs> Fenty Beauty, this is my go-to primer. Ooh, because before anybody can paint anything, you gotta prime it, whether it's your walls, your vehicle, or your mug. I like a real nice full coverage foundation. And it's a lot of layers, it's a lot of steps, and yes, it's a lot of makeup. This is art. Let me see today what I'm gonna use. I grew up with four sisters, so playing in makeup was something I loved doing at a very early age. I was only allowed to do it when my dad was at work. So like school holidays, oh honey, it was glamour shot. And here I am just a few short years later. My foundation process is extreme. I like to wear about four different shades. And I'm gonna set and seal my foundation. I'm not trying to say I wanna look natural. You've got to take your foundation down your neck. I'm gonna start the highlight process, and it is a process. I'm from Texas, I need to be nice and bronzed. I grew up listening to country music and Dolly Parton, my greatest inspiration. So when it comes to my drag, bigger hair, longer lashes, longer nails, the Texas size Barbie doll. So I really want to pop out a highlight with the lighter powder. Do your makeup 20 feet from the mirror, because that's what it's gonna be like for the audience. Pull that face back. Okay, now this is the hard part. For me to really feel like I am in my character, I have to have a strong, precise eyebrow. I need a moment of silence. Okay. Since I don't block my brows, I use my real brow. Almost like the McDonald arches. If the eyebrow is hijacked, the jig is up. Now that I have like kind of an idea of an outline, like a blueprint of the shape of this brow, I'm gonna really take this concealer to carve it out. I think the greatest thing about drag for me is I have the opportunity to inspire others. Every day I'm at Beyond Belief, it is my focus to inspire, motivate, and mentor these children, the youth of today and the future of tomorrow. I wanna instill the love and the goodness to become a great and fabulous human. I mean, our society needs it. So for the shadow, I like to have a little pop of color. I'm gonna look like a Muppet baby, hanging from a chandelier, lit up, ready to sparkle. So now that I have a nice, clean foundation, I have a light pink, I have a dark pink in the corner, a nice sculpted shaped brow with the cream highlight on the top. It's really popping out my eye color. You know, growing up in the South and being that I was a shy little boy, drag gave me that courage and inner pageants. I realized I had a platform to stand upon and that Alyssa Edwards, the character, had a voice. I teach children every day, don't dream it, be it. I remember watching that in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I never forgot. The bigger the lash, the bigger the eye, the bigger the character, the bigger the laughs from the audience. Now this is the moment where I truly embody the Alyssa Edwards character and fantasy and gig. Sure my lipstick is right on tonight. I like to just slightly go above my lip shape. I mean, so it's exaggerated, but it's not gonna take away from the face. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it. She's 
she's here. She has arrived. We're about to take it all the way there. I like to tape down my wig cap. I don't want no malfunctions on stage. I don't want stuff falling off, falling out. And whoever said drag wasn't a sport. Let me go ahead and slip into something a little bit more comfortable. Well, here she is, all dressed and dolled up, ready to hit the town. You can never go wrong with rhinestones and feathers. My advice to all of you that have ever wanted to experiment, play, and try drag, don't dream it, become it. Morphing into this character, I feel like now I can conquer the world. Stand tall, live my life, and seize the moment.